Hey, Amber Pelney, this is Cyber Pain Sister. So, um, <laughs> yeah, I just finished watching um, episode number 18 of season 5 of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. And before I do the review, I'm going to show you something I had forgotten to show you guys when I did that uh, video was showing you all the stuff I had gotten in the mail. Equestria Girls, the first movie. <laughs> yes, I am so freaking psyched about this. This is like awesome. I'm going to tell you something. I know there's some bronies out there that do not like Equestria Girls. Some, not all. But I happen to be a big fan of Equestria Girls. I just love it. Um, in fact, I'm going to try to get some of the... Um, they're, they're licensed by Hasbro, but they're kind of like the low end of Equestria Girls. Um, Walgreens only has... Um, see here, um, Pinkie Pie, Fluttershy, and Rainbow Dash. That's the only three they have, and I'm going to try to see if I can get the other three. <clears throat> Alright, so uh, brand new, I, I removed the plastic, and uh, that's looks like inside, and there's the DVD. Um, Next month, I'm actually going to buy in, uh, Rainbow Rocks, and then December I'm going to get the Friendship Games, and then, you know, just wait for the uh, fourth one to come out, which has been verified that it is um, coming out. But uh, not only am I going to get the other <clears throat> two Equestria Girls movie, but I'm also going to get the seasons. Um, the fourth season is actually a little bit more expensive than the other three, but um, it'll be worth it. <laughs> definitely worth it. All right, so uh, this is a review of My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, Season 5, Episode number 18, Crusaders of the Lost Mark, and today is also the fifth anniversary of the show coming out, so I was 30 going on 31 when it came out, when My Little Pony first aired, so it's... Um, it's pretty big. I'm like, wow, the time goes by so quickly. Okay, so this was the episode that a lot of fans of the show was hoping would be the episode that the Cutie Mark Crusaders would finally get their Cutie Marks, and they were kind of wondering if they did get their Cutie Marks in this episode, what would they be? Well, the, the premise of the episode is that Pipsqueak who does not have his cutie mark, is running for pony class president. And he wants the cutie mark crusaders to help him out with his campaign. And the reason that he chose them is because they're decent. They're decent ponies. Um, well, Diamond TR is also going up for re-election. Now, I want to say something about Diamond TR's family. Okay, I like the dad more than I like the mom. Trust me, I do. Yes, Diamond Tiara's father is snooty and full of himself and everything, but he doesn't forget where he came from. Um, so, yeah, I mean, he might be called filthy rich, but he still knows where he came from. His wife? Okay, if... if this court sent her to another dimension, I would not be sad. So in this episode, it was really surprising a couple of things. One, Pipsqueak won. <laughs> the other he won, like, wow. Um, but also, it kind of gave you an insight to the types of pressure that Diamond Tierra is under to be perfect. And it, it really reminds me of the type of you know those pageant moms that I can't stand? I can't stand pageant moms. They were, they, they're like the worst mother in the world. And so they, these overachieving parents, and that's what uh, Diamond Tierra's mother is. She's overachieving. She wants her daughter to win at everything and whatnot and doesn't care if... Uh, if, he hurt, if she hurts her daughter. My theory on Diamond Tiara's cutie mark is that she was so determined to 
make her mother proud, that she actually forced it on herself. That's just my theory on that. Because in the first uh, season of My Little Pony, Diamond Tiara had just gotten her cutie mark, and she got all snooty and everything, and she did not realize that you have to find your talent. You just can't force it on your, on yourself. You just so. I think the Diamond Tiara's cutie mark was something that she forced herself on, or forced herself to have, um, and I think that it was how she was raised that determined what her cutie mark was going to be, not because she um, has any kind of talent. So she's under this enormous amount of pressure to win everything, and I, I really, a lot of people might go, uh, <laughs> But I really feel bad for her because she has this overbearing mother that is, if there was a bar in Ponyville, that she would be there in a couple of years. <laughs> That's how bad it would be for her. So, Pip, like I said, Pipsqueak wins. And they let her on, they find out that because Diamond Tiara's mother is so angry that Diamond Tiara didn't win, that she purposely, with, purposely withholds funds for the um, playground that Tarek destroyed in the end of the fourth season. And so these little ponies are playing on broken equipment, and it's not fair. And what was really interesting about the episode is that Diamond Tiara really shows that she really wants to find another way. Um, she doesn't believe that how she is acting is appropriate. And she is, she, she stands up to her mother, which I think took a lot of guts to stand up to your mother and to say, enough, you're not going to, you know, you may think that me hanging around these other ponies is below me. But you're not going to basically show that you have no common sense. What was interesting is at the end, the cutie mark, and this is spoiler alert, the cutie mark crusaders do finally get their cutie marks. And it's in the very thing they had been doing all along, and that is being cutie mark crusaders. And they're identical to each other except that they have in different like symbols within. So it was a great episode, and I mean, it's like these three, they got their key mark, and it's like everyone is celebrating. And, you know, it goes up to Canterlot, where Celestia and Luna find out that the key mark crusaders finally got their key marks, and they finally understand what Twilight was trying to say at, in the first season. That being a blank flank is not a bad thing, because it gives you time to find where your talent is at. So, overall, this was a really, really well done episode, and I really think that Diamond Tiara really did redeem herself in the eyes of the fandom, because it really showed that she is not acting that way because she willingly acts that way. She acts that way because she has to because of her mother, which, uh, like I said, I don't like her mother. If this goes to another dimension, as I said before, I would be sorry. So, overall, a really, really great uh, episode. I love it. Uh, great music. Great music. And it's amazing they actually show the moment that the key mark crusaders get their key marks. It's like this, this bolt of energy. And it goes from their, from their um, hooves all the way through them and they kind of like float in the air and this energy goes around them and it's basically i mean it's been a little bit of magic that you know the earth ponies have and the uh, pegasus have comes out to form this cutie mark so i think all ponies have some magic it's just it's, it's just the um 
It's just the, the unicorns were the ones who can actually use magic instead of it just being a one-time thing for the Pegasus and for the uh, and for the uh, and for the Earth ponies. Oh yeah, and the alicorns, alicorns. So uh, finally, so happy they got their kitty marks. Um, but yeah, so. Overall, enjoyed this episode, loved it, and um, well, I'm looking forward to the next one, which is episode number 19, and we are getting close to the end of season 5, and I'm really hoping and praying that we do not have to wait a really long time for um, the new season to start. So I'm going to let you guys go, hope you guys have a great remainder of your weekend, or remainder of your week, and um, until next time, we'll be on.